El teacher no nos va a dejar que nos durmamos. Where is the teacher? Hello. Hello. Give me just one minute. He's silent. And I just came back from Lourdes. Oh, his traffic is. You have terrible. no idea. Yes, I I just yes. made no. Yeah. I just, no. There was no traffic. No. Because I was driving at 120, 140. <laughs> Oh wow. my God! Yeah, I know. Very uh, dangerous. I know, I know. No sé ni cómo le hice para. Wow. Ay, no, qué terrible. Ya tenía que ir a dejar a la familia porque van de convivencia y regresan hasta el domingo. O sea, de que como dice Mariah Carey, all by myself. It's free. Ah. ¿Eh? Okay, guys, how are you? Tell me. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi. Are you happy today is Friday? Yes, it's Friday. It's holiday. Miren, y and, uh, si yo no me he conectado, no. ustedes no se pueden ver entre sí o sí. Yes. Yes. Sí. Yes. Yes, you can. Or, yes, yeah? I can. Yes, yes. We, yes. Can. Yes. we can. Oh, we can. good. The question, where are the teachers? Yeah, the question was, where, where's the teacher, right? I know. Pero solo fue un minuto, no lo puedo creer. Literal, the room is open. Literal, estacioné el carro a las 6 y 57. Wow. wow. Pero es que si no hacíamos así, se salía de control todo. Okay, guys. So, let's start by taking your attendance. If you don't mind, how many are we? We're 13. Oh, my God. Where are the others? I don't know. Flores, working. Work. Working. Flores at work. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Today is Friday, teacher. I know, they but that know. doesn't matter. They know it. <laughs> In the oh, yes. Gloria's <sighs> working. What about the rest? Okay, let's start. Let's check the attendance as the rule. It's the rule. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Ada Patricia? Ada Patricia is not here. Oh my God. That's amazing. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Present. Excellent. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Present teacher. Hey, Fidel Coreas Pascual. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Garte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Jose Angel Pereira Romero. Carla Vanessa Garcia de Perez. I think she's not here, right? Okay. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Excellent. Maria Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Thank you. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Excellent. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Teacher. Excellent. Osmin Baires Olorzano. Present, teacher. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Ya, ya va por lo último. Hi, Gloria. Hi. Roselena, Roselena. Oh, my God. Roselena is not here. Gloria, 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 Gloria. There you are. Okay. Sandra Gladys Meléndez de Barahona. Méndez. Méndez de Barahona. Sorry. Thank you. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Okay. 
can see your mouth. Thank you. Edwin Erland, Orlando Mendez Chicas. Present teacher. Excellent. Giovanni Alexander Mengiva Rivera. Present teacher. Good. And Zulma Rosaura Lopez Garcia. Zulma? No? Rafa is coming? Okay. Good. Okay. Good evening, teacher. <clears throat> Hi, Patricia. Welcome. Thanks. Okay, so let's see. Let's do something fun. Let's do something to have fun. Okay, do you remember how to use models? Let's practice your models. Okay, so as you remember, help me, how do you use models? What is the formula for an affirmative sentence? Hmm? What goes first? On... Blurry, blurry, blurry. Okay, let me do it again. Okay, so let's make affirmative. Is it better? Is that better? Yes. Oh yes, my God, teacher. wake up, wake up. <laughs> Sleeping. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. Okay, so good. How do you make an affirmative sentence using uh, models? No. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. What, uh, what, uh, okay, what are the models that we have learned? We learned about. Ken? No, era la gran onda. Okay. Should. Should. Okay, can, should, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, why? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, wall. Wall. And what? Question, no entrance, it's question. What questions? Uh, who, uh, why, who, no, 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 who, no. Ok, good point. Qué bueno. A ver, no, estamos hablando de los verbos modales que hemos visto hasta ahora. Can, should, could, and would. Ok, it's just those four. Ok, can, should, could, and would. So, how do you make an affirmative sentence? Remember, you need a subject and then. Verb. Verb. Hmm? Oh, the model. And then goes the verb. In verb base. base form. Base form. And then the complement. Okay. Simple. Okay. Give an example, Michelle. Could you answer the phone? Hmm. 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 You can. You, you can. Could... This is question. That's the point, and we're talking about affirmative sentences. <gasps> affirmative sentences. You could answer the phone. Hey, you could answer the phone. Do it, please. Okay. Another affirmation, Rafa. Come on. Mm -hmm. Another affirmation. Look at the formula. You just have to replace parts of the formula. So give me another subject, Sandra. Okay. He? Okay. Um, he? he? Okay, another model. He should. He should. Okay, verb. He should. Uh, he should watch TV. He should watch TV. Watch TV. TV at the night. At night. At night. Good. These are affirmations. Let's go with negatives. Help me. How do you make a negative sentence? 
Watch. Excellent. So, subject. Okay, let me write this down. Negative. Negative structure. You need a subject. Okay. The model. The model negative. Uh -huh. So, the model not. Okay. And then? Verb. The verb. verb in its base form. Remember, base, base form. Verb. Okay, and then? Plus con. Plus the complement. Plus the complement. Very good. Give me an example. Anybody, somebody, Asalia? I do not play. Hmm. Okay, Osmin, I. What is the model? What model are you going to use? Oh. Hmm. What's mean? Yes. Go ahead. Mm. I. I do not play. I would not I play. Will, I will not play. What? I will not play basket. Basketball. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna say BK, BKB. Okay, basketball. Yeah. I will not play basketball. I will not play basketball. And remember, if you want to make a negative, all you have to do is just do this. Remove the O and put an apostrophe. Okay? I wouldn't play basketball. Another example, Ada Patricia. Mm, este, I would not call in my sister um, the mobile. I couldn't call my sister to her mobile. Her mobile phone. Okay. Mobile. Her mobile phone. Okay. So these are examples, guys. Negative. Let's go with questions. How do you make an interrogative Model. Okay, model. so first you need the model. Very good. Model. You need the model. Subject. Mm hmm. Think about it. Model plus no. subject. subject. Yes. Base. Bear, bear, base verb. Excellent. Base verb. Compliment. And compliment. Don't forget the question mark, okay? So, give me an example. Could you, you help me? Could you? Uh -huh, Maria Stella, could you? Call me tomorrow. Could you call me tomorrow? Easy. Could you call me tomorrow? Another one, uh -huh, Giovanni? Can you help me with the homework? Can you help me with my homework? The homework, yeah, easy. So you have positive, teacher. negative question. Yes. Question, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, sister, con esa iba. Sister. Oh my God! What did I do? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Questions. So, es tan simple como seguir la fórmula. Lo único que vas a hacer es reemplazar sujeto, un modal, el verbo base, ¿ok? Y luego el complemento, ¿ok? Siempre para buscar el complemento, ¿qué haces? Pues, relacionadas, ¿no? You Bien. could answer. Tú podrías contestar, ¿qué cosa? El teléfono. Oh. Ok. Uh, he should watch. Él debería, él debería de ver, ¿qué cosa? Oh, TV. Mm, cuando, when, oh, at night, okay, no, mm -hmm. and so on, okay. So I'm just gonna give you 15 minutes at 8:30. We come back, so you can follow this structure. Ask your ask your classmates. How do you say? How do you use it? Remember? How do you say molestar in English? Shakira, Shakira, come on. Don't bother. 
Mother. Fine. Mother. 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 Good. Okay, so follow the structure and make the questions to your classmates. How do you say? Okay, the verb first. Okay, in English. And you make this question twice. How do you make how do you say the verb in English? How do you say la palabra in English? And then how do you use it? How do you use it? it? How do you use it? Positive, negative question. Positive, negative question. Got it? Good? Good? How do you? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yo creo que este punto ya no tiene ni pena de presionar a sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Y así le va, pues, va, pues. Come on, you can do it. Apoyarlo, decirle, no, ve, si voy a poder, puede más que yo, decirle. Ok, good. Let's practice small groups. Let's do it. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Accept the invitation. Come on, let's go. Yes. Asalia. No, Asalia. Hi. How do you say perdido? Hey, teacher me pone nerviosa. Okay. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> Sandra. How do you say, how do you say <laughs> perdido? Perdido en el Los. 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 Yeah. Uh, in the world, uh, how do you say perro? Do. Do. Okay. <laughs> how do you use it? Oh, how do you use it? Uh, yeah. Usar. Okay. Uh, affirmative. Uh, it, 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 my dog, it, no, my doll, no pen. <laughs> it, my dog is lost. No, no, it do it. It, it can, it can, it can. Get. Mm, do. Get lost. <laughs> so? It can get lost. It can. So my dog can get lost. Ay, teacher, me puso nervioso. Come on. <laughs> dog can get no, eh, con solo verlo. lost. No, 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 es cierto. No, no está bien. Ok, porque... eso ocurre porque estoy pensando en mi perro como sujeto de la oración. Pero si yo fuese la, la, el sujeto uh -huh. sería más fácil, ¿no? ¿Cómo sería? Sí. I am I, my. I am lost. Correcto, o sea, I, 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 I can. I can. I can. I can. Ajá. Luz. 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 Dog. My dog. My. I could my lose dog. my dog. Mm -hmm. Definitivamente los. My dog. Okay. Okay. I could lose my dog. Okay. Negative. 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 Uh, it. Uh, it can. Lose my dog. I can. 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 Uh huh. I can't lose can. my dog. I can't lose my dog. Mm -hmm. okay. Question. Uh, question. Uh, can. 
Can my, my dog? Uh, can I? Can. Mm -hmm. Can it? It. Can I? Can. Can I? Lose my dog. Lose my dog. Puedo perder mi perro. Uh -huh. o sea, yo I, puedo perder I, mi perro. Uh -huh. Yo no puedo perder mi perro. ¿Puedo perder mi perro? Lose my dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you make the question, Sandra. Ask Casalia, Nelson, Giovanni, or Osmin. How do you say? Osmin. One, one minute. Osmin. Yeah. Hi, Osmin. Hi. Uh, how, how, how do you say uh, ventana? Window. How do you say edificio? Mm, edificio, I don't remember. Sandra, una, one word and one bird. Mm. The window is a, is a word. Only. Mm. So first, Lan first Lanzar? the verb and then the word. How do you say lanzar? Lanzar. Lanzar. How do you say lanzar, guys? Lanzar. Lanzar. I know. Lanzar. Aventar, lanzar. Ajá. Throw. Good. Ya sale tiene la respuesta. Ok. Throw. <laughs> Throw. Como los demás probablemente no sepan, ¿por qué no lo vamos escribiendo en el, en el chat de Zoom? Yes. Yeah. Throw. C-R-O. T-H. O R, ¿no? Ok. T H R O W, throw. Ok. Ajá, throw, ok. Eh, how, do you, how do you use, use it? Perfecto. So, ah, lleva. Yes, <laughs> yes. En negativo. Uh -huh. She. 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 No, you say she. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, she shouldn't. Shouldn't? Watch, shouldn't watch the dishes. Okay. And the question? Would she, should she watch the dishes? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Another, <laughs> Angela. Hello. Mm. Um, Rosita, este, cocinar. How do you say cocinar? Cook. Okay. Arroz. Is How do you say arroz? How do you say arroz? <laughs> <laughs> rice. 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 Uh-huh. How do you use? How do you uh -huh. use it? Angela, how do you uh, use it? I, I can cook rice. I can cook rice. Mm -hmm. I can cook rice, pardon. Excuse me. Okay. It's okay. Uh -huh. Negative. I, I cannot cook rice. Cook, cook. 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 Cook, cook rice. There you go. Good. Continue. Are we? Boil uh, the meat in the in the in the Sunday. Oh, no. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Oh, Jancy. Hello. Hello. Good evening. <risa> este... Pregúnteme. Sí. No, yo pregunto ¿Eh? mejor. Pregunte. <risa> Pregunte. <risa> um, how do you say conocer? In English. ¿A quién? Darwin, Ana Michelle o mí. Que no le tocaba a usted, Gloria, preguntarle a Yancy. A Yancy, ah, bueno, yo Ajá. acabo de decirme. 
podemos empezar. No estoy muy al día, más que acabo de entrar. De bueno, continuamos entonces, señorita Yancy. What do you say um, llorar in English? Llorar. Se puede buscar. Don't you cry tonight? <laughs> I see you love me, baby. <laughs> Don't you cry tonight? Uh huh. Cry. Uh huh. Cry. Mm -hmm. cry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Next. <laughs> Next, uh, what do you say? How do amor, you say? How do you say amor in English? Hello. <laughs> okay. How do you use it? Hmm. That's <laughs> difficult. You, you call a I'm not sure. Cry. <laughs> You could cry. You could cry. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ocupar una preposición, Yancy. For. For you love. For love. For love. You could cry for love. Uh huh. Um, Negative. You could not. Es correcto decir you could not mm -hmm. cry. For love? love, you couldn't cry mm -hmm. for love. You could not cry for love. And the question. Question. Could you cry? Uh, could you cry for love? Easy. Good. <laughs> Muy bien. Okay. Great job. Next. Pregunta mm. yes. Pregúntame, dígale, Gloria. <laughs> no, acuérdate, acuérdate. <laughs> Some yes. whales. <laughs> ok, How good. Are... Darwin. Are... Uh -huh. eh, para, este, para Michelle, porque ella dijo que me preguntaran a mí. <laughs> ah, <laughs> no, qué mal. <laughs> Revenge. Ok, let me learn something new. You say payback time. Repeat payback time. Hora de, pay Hora de la venganza. Hora de la venganza. Payback time. Ok. Ok, good girls. Easy, please. How do you say? Easy. Conocer. In English. Conocer. Conocer. Ay. Sí. Uh, hmm. Depends on the context. There are two uh -huh. ways. No. No. You say no. Or. Or me. Say... Me. Or no. Good. As. Yeah. Exacto. How do you use it? Grass. 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 Yeah. He chose. Grass. <clears throat> what is grass? Césped. Grama. Césped. Oh, long. <laughs> yeah, you can say grass too. Uh huh. Water. And what is the what is the verb? Cut. 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 Okay. He chose. He children cut grass. And question to he cut grass. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Maya. Team. Uh, how do you say in English um, transportar? 
Um, solo un paréntesis. Mm, esto tiene su propio... Eh, um, ¿Cómo le digo? Su propia forma de decirse, ¿no? Cortar el césped. You say uh -huh. mow, mow the lawn. 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 Long, 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 long. Y eso significa cortar el césped. Mm. Es como el verbo wake up. Mm, como un verbo ya, ya establecido para esa función directamente. Ok, mow the lawn. So, you, could you mow the lawn? You could mow the lawn? You couldn't mow the lawn. Mow the lawn. Ok, keep going. Mayra, how do you say in English transportar? Carry on, maybe? I don't understand. Carry on? Transportar. Como traer, transportar. Transport. Correcto, teacher. Transport. Ah, transport. Okay. What? Okay. Maquinaria. Mm. How Machine? do you say maquinaria? Equipment. Equipment. Okay. <laughs> okay. How do you use? How do you use okay. it? How in do you use it? In affirmative, you could transport the equipment. In negative, um, you could not transport the equipment. And questions, could you transport the equipment? Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're coming back. Okay, we're coming back. I'm just waiting for the rest. 15, 14, 13. While we wait, do you have any questions about the use of models? Sure, we have. Uh, I, I I was thinking, we have to know um, the context. Yeah, the context of of each model model, because I can, for example, I say, how do you say tener how, how do you say headache, eh, dolor de cabeza, headache, but you can use. Mm -hmm. Más que el uso de have, tendríamos que aprender a usar el verbo get. Como el verbo get transforma a otro verbo. Eh, se ocupa para transición. Mm -hmm. cuando, cuando un verbo es de transición o, o se, transi se transforma en algo. So, en ese ejemplo sería Should I get? I could get a headache. I could get a headache. No podría decir, decirle a alguien, you should, get, you should get a headache. <risa> <risa> yes, no. Deberías de, de, debería de darte un dolor de cabeza. Debería... <risa> no, right? Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I would get a headache. You would get a headache. <risa> Te daría un dolor de cabeza. Me daría un dolor de cabeza. Ok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Get no solamente significa obtener, tiene cuatro significados principales. Yes. Uh -huh. Good, good point. Ok, ok. Thank Se you. puede ocupar en ese contexto. I can, I can, I can, oh, I can get no. <laughs> da -da -da. That is section. Yeah. Oh. Rolling Stones. Uh -huh. I get the get is, get takes the place that have that have uh yes get uses the place of have as well yes 
You can say mm. have, uh -huh. get. Okay. Okay. Good. Sure. Good. O sea que se puede get como utilizar um, como, pero no es auxiliar de otro verbo. Mm, no. No. No, se los dejo de tarea. Busquen los cuatro significados principales de get. Okay. Okay. Uno de ellos es comprar, otro es obtener. Um, el otro es, el confuso es eso de transicionar. I'm, mm -hmm. getting, I'm getting a headache. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm getting a cold. I'm getting a cold. I can get a cold. I can, I can get cold. Okay. Me puedo enfriar. Good. Okay. It's good. Questions, questions with models. You only have one minute. Questions, questions, questions. I love your questions. Come on. No. Okay. Rafael, yo sé que puede ser una pregunta tonta, vamos a decir así. No existen pero, las preguntas tontas. Uh -huh. Pero es verdad que no solo es con el I, sino que también puede ser they al hacer esas preguntas. Of course. They, we, ¿Verdad que sí? Uh -huh. Sí, ellos okay. pueden ocupar el sujeto de diferentes formas, diferentes sujetos en todas las oraciones, en todos los tiempos gramaticales. Ok, uh -huh. gracias. Ya, yeah. claro, hay que tener cuidado, hay que tenga sentido lo que estoy diciendo. For example, for example uh, I, I was remember at the movies when, when the, the boys say to the girl, would you marry me? Would you marry me? Would yes. You marry me? Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he says, no. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm with a headache. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Melanie. I'm with a headache. Mm. Soy raro, pero sí, sí, así, así es. Yes. I have a headache. Porque yes. si digo yo estoy con un dolor de cabeza. <laughs> ¿Quién será? <laughs> son mentiras, sí se puede. Okay. okay. Good, guys. Let's go. So, today we have to talk about something very interesting what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you listen to the word etiquette etiquette so in this session we're going to learn about well we will be able to provide written and oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace what is etiquette oh, oh se fue la luz ya volvió que feo Está a punto de yes. caer una tormenta. Yes. Okay. What's the first thing? ¿Cuál es la primera cosa that comes to your mind, que viene a tu mente, when you listen to the word etiquette? Cuando escuchas la palabra etiquette. What is the first thing that comes to your mind? Servilleta? Etiquette. Models. Manners. Ma manners. Oh, manners. Good manners. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good manners. Okay. What else? Okay. Let's do an exercise really quick. Go to the Zoom chat and type the first word that comes to your mind when you listen to the word etiquette. ¿Cuál es la primera palabra que se tiene en mente? Go to the chat. Behavior, okay, behavior. Rule, rules to follow. Oh, yeah. Rules to follow. Okay, rules to follow. What else? Uh huh. What about your mother? What about your mother? Your father? Education. Your grandma, your grandmother. Mi abuela siempre que había visita y yo hablaba en frente de las visitas era como si cerraba mucho los ojos yo sabía que iba a ser con un palo, si cerraba medio los ojos iba a ser con el cincho. <laughs> Manners, education, respectability, mm, respect. You say respect. Respect, being respectful. Mm -hmm. 
what, what? I'm sorry, brothers? How do you say prudencia? Prudence. Prudence. Uh, yeah. Prudence. Yeah. Prudence. Huh? And so on, right? Distinctive. Oh, someone with etiquette is distinctive. Hmm. So does it sound familiar? Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Can you tell me, have you, have you been raised? Have you been raised with etiquette? Have you been raised with etiquette? I'm asking you, have you been raised with etiquette? Let's see, let's practice your listening then. When I was a kid, I was, um, I grew up, I grew up very, very poorly, okay? Listen, I will make you questions. Voy a hacer preguntas sobre esto, okay? So, my family was very poor. My grandma raised my brother and me because my father and my mother got divorced. This was back in 1989. This was back in 1989. So my mother left to the United States and my father raised my brother and me with my grandma. So we were very, very poor. There were no utensils, like there were no utensils at home. Okay, like forks. There were no forks. Okay, no spoons. We were poor. And to get some money, uh, me and my brother, my brother and me, I'm sorry, my brother and me used to go and mill corn for my grandma to do tortillas. In the mornings, we used to deliver bread, deliver bread in the morning before school. Then we went to school, you know, we used to go to school and then we used to deliver tortillas. Okay. And in the afternoon, we used to play basketball. So the thing is that I learned, I don't know, I don't know how, maybe I saw a movie. I loved movies, but maybe I saw in a movie someone eating with a fork and a knife. Okay? And I learned, I just grabbed the fork with my left hand and the knife with my right hand. Of course, I asked, I asked my uncle to give me a fork and a knife. And those were mine. So at home, I started, I started eating with utensils. And my grandma, I remember my grandma said, what are you doing? Eat with your hands. Why are you eating with a fork and a knife? Because it's meat, I said, I never ate with my hands again. Never. Okay. So, su turno. ¿De qué trataba eso? Ese cuentito. Que eran muy De cómo pobres. utilizar los utensilios. No tenía ni cucharas, ni cuchillos. Uh -huh. Tenía que no repartir tortillas. Uh -huh. Estudiaba. Eh, panadería, creo que dijo... Uh -huh. We used to deliver bread in the morning. Yeah. So, digamos, a, a entregar pan uh -huh. en la mañana y en la tarde tortillas. Uh -huh. Y un día el tío le regaló los el cuchillo. Ajá, bueno. uh -huh. yo se los pedí. Uh -huh. María Estela, uh -huh. super listening. Great job, María Estela. Good, ok. So, y el punto era que, ajá, uh -huh, Giovanni, yo. Nunca más. <risa> Fíjate que no, no sé cómo. Hace el día de hoy no me explico. Y yo supongo ah. que en una película vi eso y se me quedó, ¿no? Porque muchas cosas en la... Y real, y real. 
Sí, es real. Sí, es de verdad. Oh, ay. Sí, es de verdad. Yo, de hecho, lo recordé porque hace poco, hace el, este año, a principios de año, invité a comer a unos, a unos alumnos y una, una niña de estos alumnos, muy humildes, ¿no? Jóvenes muy humildes. Y no quería, y no quería comer. ¿Qué, ¿Qué te pasa? Es que me da pena porque yo como con las manos me hice así riendo. Y le enseñé a usar el cuchillo del tenedor y me, me entró qué emoción. Yo aprendí así, sí, yo comía con las manos. O sea, éramos súper pobres, pero hoy lo, lo digo con mucho orgullo porque me, me alegra recordar de dónde vengo y todo. Pero pensándolo, o sea, no sé cómo aprendí a usar los, los cubiertos. Luego en la universidad vimos etiqueta y todo, ¿no? That's different. My mother, my mother at, at home, uh -huh. she with her hands. She, she, she eats? Did, yeah, still, she, still. Yeah, still. She's still at home. Mm -hmm. At home, but when you go out, yeah, he when took we, her when at go home. Out. Yeah, but um. she, she say it's more, <laughs> I don't know. It's, I like the, it. <laughs> the food tastes better. They yes. say that food tastes yes. better with your hands. Sometimes, course, sometimes. You have to wash your hands. I, yeah, sometimes I eat with my hands. Did you know that yes. people in India, people in India eat with yes. their hands? Eat with their hands, yes. All together from <laughs> a bowl, yes. from uh -huh. a bowl. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Yes. But, but, but the people in India only use one hand, not two. I know, two. I know. <laughs> don't say why, don't say why. No diga por qué si ya sabe. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I know. Sí, solo una mano pueden ocupar. <laughs> Ah, cultures, <laughs> cultures. Okay, so you know about etiquette. Other than eating with your hands, what is good etiquette at work? Look at the question. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. To be punctual. To be punctual? Uh, is that part of the etiquette? Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm. Are those manners? Is are manners the same as etiquette? No. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out. We have an article. Okay. On the workplace etiquette guidelines. Okay. What happens in your job? Then identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions. We have a few questions down below. Okay. Compensate the time, call the person you report to, not to identify about it. Okay, so we have to match the answers. But first, we're gonna do the reading together in groups, okay? Understand, understand what is this about? Ok, y ahora les voy a poner este reto. Vamos a leer esto en grupo, pero por favor, trabajen en equipo. Si tú, alguno del grupo, conoce el verbo o cómo se pronuncia, ok, dilo. Hey, creo que eso se pronuncia guidelines. Si ves que tu compañero dice guidelines, guidelines. No, guidelines. Guidelines, ok, good. ¿Qué quiere decir? Ok, ¿Qué quiere decir? Trabajen en equipo. Ok, Trabajen en equipo. Um, etiquette guidelines. ¿Qué querrá decir guidelines? Pautas. Lineamientos. Lineamientos. Good. Lineamientos de etiqueta. Ok. So let's work on this together. Quiero verlos trabajando. Voy a llegar a cada grupo a ver que de verdad están trabajando como equipo y se están apoyando uno a otro. Ok. Si no, me preguntan. Ok. Let's do it. Let's work together, guys to recreate the groups, but the smaller groups. There you go, let's go. Vamos chicos, necesito que todos se unan a los grupos, aunque sé que algunos que no pueden encender su cámara van manejando de regreso para la casita. Tengan cuidado, está lloviendo, yo sé. 
traten de unirse si pueden. Si van manejando, pues no, no, ni toquen el teléfono, ¿ok? Let's go. De lo que íbamos a hacer, pues sí, mi hija estaba pasando. Sí, sí. Un montón de cosas. <ríe> Por estar atendiendo, no, no, no perdimos completamente. Que, disculpen, pero uh, si me indican, yo con gusto. Hola, hola. Ok. okay. Sería de leer, ¿verdad? Cada ah, uno podemos el... agarrar un párrafo, una de punto a punto. O oh, alguien puede compartir su pantallita y vamos leyendo cada uno un párrafito. Correcto. Sacando dudas sobre ese párrafo y vamos avanzando, ¿ok? Ok. Give me one second, please. Eh, comienza, Jada. Eh, ok. Este dice, there are many, no, good ethics uh, at the workplace. There are many workplace ethics good Guidelines, but the most important is the to be punctual to your office. ¿Quién sigue o, o sigo leyendo yo? Somos cuatro. Eh, ¿Sí? Por rato se me va el sonido con mi internet, me quedo sin oírlos, pero lo que escuche, vamos. Este, por eso digo, o sea, sería. Eh, le, ¿Leo hasta un párrafo grande o vamos leyendo de punto a punto? Sí, porque sí, alguien sería... va siguiendo la lectura. Ajá, este... Quiero ver, llegaste hasta... ¿A, a dónde? Hasta Office. El siguiente okay. sería If you are late because you have an emergency that is okay. Sí. Ok, es que bella, me perdí. However, however have it. etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette. Of other countries. Countries. <laughs> In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clear, clearly and be concise. Concise. You also, ah, concise. And be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammat grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during, during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interruptions. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manner are interrupt. Versor your voice in the clear when you speak to a, a, a boy wrong interpretations. Interpretations. Avoid. Avoid. Avoid wrong interpretations. Eh, continue. Chicas. Eh, no sé si 
puede oh. ver Flor. Ah, sí está no, no, la compañera Flor Carballo. Hello. Se sí, nos fue. Um, Michelle, Michelle, continue y para repetir, continue. Ah, dice okay. la señorita que no puede. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call, a cold when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. You don't talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. 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 Chew es, verdad? Chew, 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 chew. chew. Okay, you should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay, start again. Any questions about the pronunciation or the meaning of words? Eh, telephone, teacher, así es. Telephone. telephone. Good. Telephone. No, well, knowledge. 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 In addition, teacher. In addition. In addition. In addition. Okay. Telephone. Um, ah, teacher. Manners. Manners. Maneras. Se fue la luz, chicos. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. 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 Hola, chicos. ¿Me escuchan? Bien, no nos desconectemos. Hola, chicos. Se fue la luz en mi casa, eh, en la colonia, de hecho, porque está lloviendo bien fuerte. No nos desconectemos. Eh, tal vez regresa rápido.